Animal Consciousness. This is a special presentation by Feed the Minds. Our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Albert Einstein. I first started working with the California condor when I was just a kid doing backcountry uh, backpacking trips in the wilderness areas of the Los Padres National Forest. I was uh, able to go on these trips with my father and with a good friend, uh, Dick Smith, who later had a wilderness named after him in the condor habitat areas. My first uh, reasons for, for working with the birds, if you will, uh, as just a child, of course, was simply to find the birds. I wanted to see the birds in the wild in their native habitat. But after seeing these birds for some time on many different trips, I became more curious. And that curiosity led me to want to know more about why was this species endangered? What was wrong? What was going wrong with this species in this um, seemingly huge habitat? The California condor is a species of vulture the largest North American land bird with a wingspan of nearly 10 feet. It is an important mythological symbol to Native Americans. The California condor is one of the most endangered birds in the world. This is a species who is sending us a message, um, and that's a message that we, we can and that we should respond to. The condor has some, some basic needs. The California condor, like, like other species, has needs for food that isn't contaminated by pesticides or by lead. Uh, the California condor has needs for uh, open space environment, room for foraging, room for roosting, uh, room for nesting. And quite simply, the, the California condor is a species that uh, um, needs to exist without people shooting it out of the sky for sport. Um, these are the, the basic needs of the California condor. I think that everybody who has worked on the California condor program has stories to tell. These stories are, are often about the extreme conditions that we've worked in, the very remote areas where condors live. Stories such as rappelling down using rock climbing gear into historic condor nest sites to document uh, where these birds nest and what kinds of nest sites they choose to, to help us understand those kinds of habitat issues, of what happens when someone becomes curious about one species, about what happens with, with one endangered species. And exploring that leads us to find more and more, not only about that species, but about other species, about the habitats where those species live about the habitats where we live, and ultimately it really tells us more about ourselves. And so I think that the, the story that I would most like to, to explain to, to my students and my children and my colleagues is, is this story of being curious and exploring and walking down that road to, to help, of course, the species that we're working with, but also to find out more about these areas that we live in. Often today, we are fairly sheltered from the natural environments that we live in. We're fairly protected. We do a good job at that. But it is helpful to, to have a deeper understanding of, of how these species are living in, in their environment and how we're in, uh, affecting those environments and what we can do to, to improve the, the quality of those habitats and specifically what we can do to raise public awareness of what is needed. And I think that's an important part of the story of the California condor. We've made some great progress over the last few decades and more. Uh, we are making good progress on habitat issues. Uh, the population has recovered from very, very low levels uh, several years ago. 
But really, the, the future of this species is, I feel, dependent on how well we continue to work on issues of habitat quality. And that is habitat quality not just for the California condor, but habitat quality for all endangered species. The California condor really is a symbol of many endangered species. So that's the, the um, issue which we need to keep a focus on as well. It's also an issue of public awareness. The California condor program, like many endangered species programs, are not programs which simply work in their own vacuum. They're part of a larger picture. Public awareness is a key element in how we work with um, endangered species. And I think we're on the right track. I'm very hopeful that we're on the right track. Um, but it's, it's a continuous um, fight that, that we need to always be aware of. Animal Consciousness, people helping animals, people helping the planet. Animal Consciousness, this is a special presentation by Feed the Minds.